Good morning, my YouTubers. Well, I'm going to take you live to the post-game show after that 7 nothing victory on Saturday night. So enjoy the post-game show. Look at Toronto Maple Leafs. Post-game conference. No matter where they're from, or why they're here, a warm Canadian welcome can make a difference. Did you know that you get used to odors in your home? Yep, you've gone nose blind. You need Febreze plug-in with Fade Defy technology. It's the only air freshener that eliminates odors so you and your guests can enjoy up to 50 days of freshness. It even reminds you to refill it. Febreze. I mean, obviously, you get guys like Austin, Connor, and Kucherov, Pasternak, and there's a long list of unbelievable players. Um, but no one's won as much as he has, right? And um, he was my favorite player growing up between him and Patrick Kane. So uh, I'm, I'm a, still a big fan of him, still a big fan of the game. And what he's done is, is, is remarkable, right? So nothing but respect for Sid. Um, yeah, I think we, we already kind of responded the way we wanted to. You know, we just got to carry that momentum into tonight, right? You come back from five-goal deficit, obviously that's a lot of positive momentum and uh, I mean, big test tonight against a good team in Pitt and veteran savvy, so looking forward to it. It looks like Martin will be starting. What do you like about this game and goal? You know, he's, he's been so good for so long um, that, I mean, you wouldn't expect anything different. I mean, he's, he's so sound back there, so calm and collected and Obviously, a veteran that's been around for, for a while and had a lot of success on, on the biggest of, of stages. So uh, we're really lucky to have him. Do you expect to play tonight? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I feel good. Uh, it's been a long time coming, so excited to uh, to get back out there and uh, uh, get my game going again. What's been the, the hardest part of the recovery, just given the, the nature of the injury? You uh, I don't know. He's, Kind of a slow injury to, to rehab. You walk around in a boot for some time and then slowly uh, uh, increase your workload. But uh, foot feels good now, so uh, I'm ready. Yeah, it's just uh, we're in a party season right now where uh, there's not a lot of room for, for practice, so I just, uh, you know, been trying to, to go hard and morning skate and uh, working with the skills coaches and, and stuff like that so uh, uh, I feel pretty uh, pretty good uh, tough player uh, tough player whether you've been injured or not but uh, uh, we're, uh, we're excited for a challenge and uh, I'm sure it'll be a good game how do you think your experience with Morgan in the past will, will work out for you in your transition to coming in uh, yeah, good. I mean, uh, I said like we've we played before. Uh, now where we play, so uh, he's uh, one of the best defensemen in the league. So uh, uh, fun to uh, fun to be back playing with him. You expect to play today? Yeah, I mean, I expected to play today. Um, you know, I want to play every game, but yeah, it, it was uh, frustrating that you know I had to get held off for those two games just because I didn't. Uh, it wasn't 100 percent. So, but I'm yeah, excited to be back. Yeah, without getting into too much detail, I mean, it's just, yeah, it was, I wasn't able to play, you know, I wasn't able to lace him up, you know, I kind of was bedridden for, for a day or two, and, um, but yeah, happy it's kind of out of me, and I can, you know, kind of focus on just uh, getting back in and, um, you know, and contributing. Obviously, you're worried about yourself and your team, but when you see the season Crosby is having, how would you describe it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's no shock, right? He's a tremendous player, and, uh, you know, it's pretty cool that I get to play against them, and, um, yeah, I think he's he's been uh, unreal for them. Obviously, he's a good leader and um, you know a really great player. So, uh, no no shock that he's having a good season again, and um, you know that he's uh, you know kind of leading their team. It's been kind of lessons you've taken over the course of this this season, where I mean, I imagine you enjoyed playing with, with 34, but with that, you're seeing a lot of the top matchups on the other side. 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a difficult challenge on a daily basis to play against their best D and, and, and their best forwards. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think those guys help me out a lot. You know, Willie and, and uh, Austin, I think that they, you know, carry a big load. And, um, you know, I think they really help with communication and uh, just kind of taking charge. You know, I kind of just follow their footsteps and follow, follow their example. And I think it just makes the game a little bit easier for me. Who's in? Who's out? Can you say? Uh, Brody's going to be a game time decision. He's just sick and and uh, we kept him away this morning. So we'll see how he is this afternoon, and that will uh, determine how everything else falls into place. But Lillard will be back tonight. What do you expect from Timothy uh, in the fact that he hasn't really had a lot of practice time? Yeah, it's <clears throat> that's been the challenge with trying to getting him back up to speed. You know, we we had thought or at least sort of expected to have a practice for him yesterday, but. Uh, ultimately determined for the rest of the group that the, the day off was was going to be more important. Uh, so that's that is going to be a bit of a challenge for him. But at the same time, you know, I think even just watching in the morning skate today, like, you know, we, we've, this is a tough segment of the schedule here for us in terms of the volume of games and such that we've played. It's the busiest stretch we've had all season. He looks like a guy that's refreshed and excited and anxious to play. So uh, to that end, he should help us, you know, especially with his feet and the way he can skate. You know, that's been a challenge for us getting out of our zone. So expect him to help us there and, you know, have to monitor his minutes and monitor how he's doing in in, in the game. And depending on Brody's status, it's going to impact the the matchups and the things that he may face, the other may face. But, um, you know, he's a good player for us. And he's, he was playing well when we lost him. Do you have an update on Brian Reeves' history? Yeah, uh, we don't have exact timeline, but all I would say is just it's not as bad as it as it appeared. Um, in fact, I was talking with him yesterday. He was riding the bike, so he's he's uh, it's encouraging, encouraging that way. Um, I think he is going to end up going on the IR, um, but but uh, not a long term thing. Martin Jones. Jones will play tonight. Yes. Coming off yesterday's practice, was that? Flu bug related or just rest? A little bit of everything. You know, we just we were really on the fence about how to how to handle it. We haven't practiced. I think we're twelve days or something like that now since we've had a practice. So we were anxious to have a practice day. But again, it's been a real busy stretch of games for us here of late. So it's a combination of rest and just the the way the illnesses have been creeping up on us, and some guys that have been kind of playing through it, and others that were unable to come to the rink and. Uh, you know, just all those things combined, just thought a day away would be the uh, best course for us. And that's kind of the rhythm we've been in here, right? We've been taking days off and, and having full morning skates. And uh, guys, for the most part, have responded well to that. So we figured we'd stay with it with a practice day coming here now on Monday. What do you like about the way Martin has played just a few times you've seen him in that? Yeah, just confident, I guess. You know, and I think that comes through his experience. I don't think he's... He's rattled by anything that uh, has come his way. His first, you know, appearance in the net for us was coming in in, in relief for an injured uh, Joseph Wall there in Ottawa, and didn't face him in that spot. And he made some saves for us down the stretch there, and um, you know, played uh, uh, played good for us the other night when he was in there. And uh, you guys, he has confidence, you know, and that, and that gives the group confidence. Have you considered going back to the Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, we did. We just, you know, talking about it and, and looking how things, how things uh, roll out here for us the next little bit. We thought it was a good chance to, uh, to just get Jones back in there. And, um, but you know, on Samson off, like I think, especially going back through it, you know, looking at it, um, we didn't give him a chance to really do, to be good to start well the other night. You know, uh, I thought the first two goals he has no chance on, and that's all on us. We have full possession of the puck, and then. You turn it over, there's no structure in front of him, no chance to defend it uh, and help him out. So now we're, he's playing in a game, instead of trying to, you know, getting comfortable and feeling good in the game, you know, uh, there's that much more pressure on him where we're not scoring, you know, uh, the one goes in off the back wall and off his back and things are tough. And, you know, he's got to find a way to make the next save. But, you know, the message for me is just whether it's forward supporting our defense or the defense supporting the goalies, or you know, all five people helping the goalie, we gotta we gotta do a better job in front of them. Give give everybody on the ice a chance at success. And same with our breakouts. Like we can do different things. Forwards can help out to take some pressure off our defense uh, and and uh, ease the forecheck that we're facing a little bit. 
um, the help RD, help our breakouts, like all these things. That's where we really got to do a better job and, and we'll be put to the test in that regard tonight for sure. So a little odd for you tonight to Kyle back in the building given your past, obviously, and the relationship you guys had, both as workers and friends. And yeah, it's not odd to me. I'll be honest. Like, I, it's literally the first time that's entered my mind today. I just, I, we talked about this when, you know, when uh, we were in Pittsburgh. I, you don't coach against general managers. We, you know, we're we're diving into the video. We're preparing to play against against their team. All that other stuff is for you guys to talk about, but it's not on my mind. How would you describe this season that at thirty six Sidney Crosby has had? Ah, I mean, just you know, it's world class player that. Um, from all accounts, seems to have world class habits and details in terms of how he prepares and takes care of himself and allows you to be good for a long time. You know, we, you know, we, uh, I, think that's, I think that's so important. I've talked about that a bunch here you know, with Tavares' years, getting to his 1,000 points. And to get into 1,000 points, you talk about longevity and taking care of yourself and, and adapting and all these kind of things. And it certainly seems to be the case there. If you're going to, going to have, you're going to play at that level for such a long time. You, you just can't do it unless you've got those those types of habits and uh, away from the rink or away from the game. Uh, probably most importantly, and it seems that he has that. According to the sorry, according to the league stats, you're leading the conference in hits. Your team. I just wonder if you, that everyone knows it sort of varies game to game. Just curious what your own numbers are telling you. Um, it's. Yeah, I, I think we we we've added some guys this 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 season, and I think that that have helped us in that regard. Um, but I don't put a lot of stock into that, quite quite frankly. It's probably more reflective of the fact we haven't had the puck nearly as much this year as we have in, in past years. Um, so when you don't have it as much, you're you're defending more, and uh, that you know those numbers tend to rise. But there was a time when I when I dug into those numbers a little bit more to see around the league just how how accurate or inaccurate they were and, and when you spend any sort of time to see what they call a hit and what they don't and you realize you probably shouldn't be spending much time looking at it.